Now at five, and this one is a little bit of a stretch, but we wanted to do a top five. We've added in the Welsh one that Gareth Bale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about, you know, the biggest names in football, the biggest brands, the yeah. superstars. Um, they aren't actually a great deal around. Um, and Bale, yeah, if you were to come back to the Premier League, maybe you'd think City would be interested. I think United would probably try and have that one nailed down. Yeah, yeah. Um, his game doesn't really suit the way City are going, I don't think. Um, it'd be more than welcome now, right now at this moment in time, but the way Guardiola's gonna prepare this club and take this club on over the next three years, not really sure about Bale. Um, certainly um, his personality, his profile fits the bill. Um, you mentioned the China deal. All the research suggests that fans in China, consumers in China, they support clubs based on one big name player or maybe two or three big name players at one club. So in terms of that, it would certainly make sense for City to be interested, but I think that's the only reason that City would be, and I personally don't see that one happening. <laughs> no, nor do we, I don't think, but you never know, and you'd be very surprised if they weren't, you know, inquiring if you came available. Yeah, these kind of inquiries, they always happen. You know, there's, you know people talk about a short list, they're very long lists. Yeah, If, of course, if there's yeah. a best player around, one of the best players in Europe, he's going to be on anybody's list. But I think this one, he's number five for five for a reason. Number four on the list, and slightly more plausible, is Luis Suarez, who's finally settled into life uh, uh, in Spain in dramatic fashion, banging in goals left, yeah. right and centre. I mean, there is a link there with his agent being Pep Guardiola's brother, and that always, it's always going to help, let's be honest. But I mean, how do you see that one potentially? Yeah, well, like I say, it's slightly more possible than Bale, because, you know, Bale not going to happen. <laughs> um, but it's probably not as possible as some of the other people will go and look at. Um, Suarez is definitely of interest to City. Yeah. I think you said he's finally hit form now. Right back at the start, he had the band hanging over him from the World Cup. Yeah. And, he, you know, there were people saying he wasn't very good and possibly overweight. I think City were having a look then just to see if it, you know, if it wasn't going to pan out. It has panned out brilliantly. Quite dramatically, yes. really. <laughs> um, and Guardiola, Obviously, you like to say you've got the pair Guardiola link, but I think Guardiola is very keen to work with Suarez at some point. It's just whether you know he's going to leave Barcelona anytime soon, which is very unlikely, because why would you? And also, if he were to come back to England, I, you know, I don't think he particularly enjoyed it. He always, you know, he maintains that he loved playing but, but for Liverpool. But the press loved him, you know, in England. Yeah. He was so yeah. welcoming. Yeah, it was a tumultuous <laughs> relationship yeah. with the press, and I think I don't think he'd ever want to sign up for that again. Yeah. Um, he's, and also he says, you know, he loves Liverpool and if he were to come back, it would be Anfield that he'd go to. So, yeah, City would definitely be interested. I think they'd definitely have Suarez. They'd snap Barcelona's hand off if he was ever available. I don't think Suarez would be interested in coming back. And I don't think, yeah, I'm not really sure about this one either. Nor me, let's be honest. But he'd be nice. He's a good player. He is a good Everyone's player. kind of forgiven him now, haven't they, for that whole misdemeanor just because he was really good at football. A lot of which people is always have. the way. A lot of people have, which <laughs> kind of speaks about how good he actually is. Exactly, yeah. Scarily good. And the third one on the list, and he had to be there, and it's that time of year again. Messi has back in the papers. Uh, it's deja vu, a huge sense of that. But this time it's slightly different. There seems mm. to be some more news that if he does leave the new camp, then uh, City and Soriano, Bergenstein and Pep feel they're in the perfect place to kind of finally snare the best player possibly there ever was. Yeah, um, the old senior sources at City, the hierarchy, you know, they are very convinced that if Messi were ever to leave Barcelona... It's a big if, isn't it? Well, this is it, yeah, <laughs> it's a big if. And all the stories we saw coming out on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, they all acknowledge that. You know, the top line is City are confident they could sign Messi if it ever came to it. But a few paragraphs down, <laughs> it's not going to happen. You know, he's in a small print there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, you know, he was understood to be unhappy with the tax situation, you know, the way the Spanish authorities have gone after him, despite everything he's done for Barcelona's image, Spain's image and all this. And that was back in October, I must say, we did kind of have this line on goal back in October that Man City are confident that they could get him yeah. if he was ever available. It goes way back. Um, when Argentina trained at the Etihad campus ahead of their friendly with Portugal about really 18 likes, months ago. Like the weather over here, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, yeah. He just loved it. Well, they rolled out the red carpet <laughs> for him. They, showed him. they showed him around the training ground, yeah. you know, all the facilities. They really tried to, you know, plant the seed there. So, I mean, and it's, it's just built from there, really. But, yeah, the small print, as you say, he's probably not going to leave Barcelona. He lives a quiet life in Barcelona. He, yeah. I think he was disappointed when Fabregas left 
because his family and Fabregas's family spent a lot of Good time together. Only, yeah. yeah, and you know he's got everything set up for him. You know, just forget about what's on the pitch at the moment. This great relationship with Suarez and Neymar and everything else. There's also the off the pitch. He's just a quiet guy. I think he enjoys his life there. And I, I can't he is see him kind of settled, doesn't he? Really, as Very well, in terms settled. of like people kind of not leave him to be, but he can literally just blend in now in Barcelona. Mm. In terms of that's his world, and he's only going to root it and change it. But you know, I mean, if it came to the head, and I honestly believe as well, there wouldn't be a club more suited to City if he did need to move on. Mm. But that's the pipe dream. And then at number two is Neymar, who is currently locked in deep contract negotiations with Barcelona. His, his star's hugely on the rise if it needed to go any further. He's having a great season. But there is always that kind of kind of rumour in the press at the moment that everything isn't totally rosy. You know, there is a situation potentially for one of the main three players to leave and he seems as good a shout as anyone. Yeah, well you mentioned one of the main three Barcelona players possibly leaving. It, it's all tied into they haven't exactly got financial difficulties, Barcelona, but their wages to turnover ratio, I think healthy is maybe 50% tops, I think theirs is about 62% or something, maybe yeah. even higher. So they're really struggling to get everybody in line with the money they're bringing in and redistributing it to their players. Mascarano, I think he might be in that boat. Busquets definitely has been waiting for a new contract for a while. Messi, maybe even him as well. But Neymar is the main one. He's waiting for this new contract. They want to time down. I think Neymar does want to stay. He said the other day he can't see himself moving, but at the same time, he's, he's never ruled out a move to England. Last exactly. year, there were the rumours with United. There were those links, and it seemed like the Neymar camp were happy to have those rumours out there. To was that, was that force Barca's hand? Is that just Woodward being Woodward, or was there actually yes, something to that? Yes, I think. Yeah, I mean, you know, we have picked these five names. Yeah. To, you know, just to talk about their chances of coming to City, I think Ed Woodward might put these five names on a dartboard, and just <laughs> you know, whichever one the dart lands on, he'll, he'll make the phone call. It looks good in the AGM, you know. So. Well, yeah, exactly. exactly. And when he's talking to Adidas and the Noodle Partners and whoever it is, <laughs> it, lo it looks great that they're going How after did they these get players. By about the Noodle Partners, you know. What was life like before that? Who yeah. <laughs> Antonio Valencia stood there with that crate of oil, looking delighted. But yeah, but then at the same time, Neymar's camp were kind of happy for that to be out there. Um, Neymar's just been fined at 45 million euros for tax evasion back in Brazil. So if, if there's ever a time to get a healthy signing on fee, which I'm sure City could provide, it could be now. And I think that's why you know we've got number two of this list of Galacticos. Yeah. Because yeah, it may happen. But just because Barcelona they're juggling a few things financial, financially speaking. City definitely going to want Neymar. We haven't even talked about how good a player he is. Um, He's he might right. have even surpassed Ronaldo at the moment. He could be the second best player in the world. Maybe the Maybe the best. He's the Ronaldinho kind of successor to me. That yeah. kind of magical superstar who, he just draws people to see, doesn't he? People go to a game just to watch him because yeah. he's um, that skillful. You talk about the star quality and star quality being important for the Chinese market. Brazilian as well. Yeah, I mean, he might even have more star quality than Messi himself. Yeah, well. Just slightly more flamboyant. It's all about the brand. He's, you know, he's got the poker link up and all this kind of thing, the Playboy lifestyle. I think, yeah, he, he, might, <laughs> he's uh, he so might be the biggest brand in football at the moment. And yeah, all things considered, I mean, it'd just be amazing for City. Whether it's going to happen, it's still unlikely, but more likely than most of the other superstars in world football. Yeah. That's my take on it. I mean, I, I, I think you have to consider the fact that um, you never know where Barcelona are going to be in two or three years from now. Things could change quite a lot. I don't see Neymar happening this summer, but <clears throat> the season after, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, things are flowing well under Pep Guardiola. Fingers crossed, I'm sure they will be. And City could eventually start to edge towards being the superpower in the game, and that's may, maybe where we might see them make a move. And then at number one, it's the one that we probably think might actually happen, um, is Paul Pogba. Uh, he's off the back of another brilliant season at Juventus. Uh, there's plenty of links. The stories are breaking only recently in the press that he sees himself uh, improving vastly and kind of going for the Ballon d'Or under Pep Guardiola. And this one, out of all of them, uh, seems to carry the most legs. He's, he's rising as a brand and as a player. And I think this one could be, actually be on the cards. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've talked about Neymar's brand. Pogba's definitely up there. You know, he's just moved to Adidas. He's bought these are outrageous new boots. <laughs> Different haircuts every week. You know, he's the rising star. He's what only 23 that? years old. Pog boom and Pog bants. Yeah, don't know what this. I don't know what the bants is, and it's not. It's not banter, is it? <laughs> if anyone knows what that means, please let us know. Yeah. Well, yeah, we haven't got a clue, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his star is on the rise. He's he's the full package. Um, He's not going to be limited no matter how City want to play. You know, if he play on the counter in some games, if they dominate possession, doesn't matter, he's got the lot. 
you know, he's more defensively disciplined than people may yeah. give him credit for. Um, you know, his long shots, you know, building back into the brand and what's popular with prospective new fans, you know, the, the flashy hairstyle and the, the long shots, the dribbling, all this kind of thing. He's but, the perfect YouTube player, isn't he, in the modern era? He is he's, the perfect um, YouTube he's, player, yeah. And But he's, there's more to his game than that. He isn't just a highlights reel. He, mm. he can do that, but there's an intelligence to his game as well, which is developing quite quite quickly. Um, and you'd think, under Pep as well, that he'd take another level up, and that's, I guess, half the appeal, isn't it? Yeah, well, he played a very disciplined game against Bayern last yeah. week, which Guardiola won't have failed to notice. He scored the first goal, but as Juve dropped deeper, he dropped deeper, you know, he was he was there in the right places to cut off crosses, to cut off the passing angles inside the fullbacks. Um, he was cutting off set pieces. You know, Guardiola's gonna notice that and that brings us on to his suitability for Manchester City. He's definitely a target for Manchester City, yeah. you know, I'm confident saying that. And there's the thing as well that his, his brother plays football in Scotland. Uh, his yeah. mum apparently lives in Sale. Yeah, his mum still lives there in yeah. Sale, yeah. And I saw someone mention the style of players, uh, kind of like a a superpower Deli Alley, and I can see that because mm. it would suit the English game with all the energy. So, I, I mean, I'd love to see that happen for many reasons. One, just to laugh ferociously in the direction of Old Trafford, and two, because he is a superstar, and I think he'd be the closest City was signed to a, a, you know, an elite player um, since we, the money was invested. Yeah, definitely. Um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he were to sign this summer. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's definitely on. Fingers crossed. So, um, well, that, that's our list. So. Who do you want to see at City? Do you think any of these are possible? If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment on the video below and give us a thumbs up.